This problem refers to a very popular dice game, craps. So that's a dice game they have at the casinos in which a player rolls two dice. Okay, and then they're going to give us some various questions. Rolling a sum of 7 or 11 on the first roll of the dice is a win. What is the probability of the event of winning the first roll? So they're basically asking us, what's the chance of rolling a sum of 7 or 11 when you roll two dice? So we're rolling two dice, and we want to get a sum of 7 or 11 because that's, that's a win. What's the chance of that? Well, to answer this question and all the other questions in this problem, we're going to need to come down here. Here I've created, down here, I've created a chart um, a six by six array that shows all the things that can happen when you roll two dice. So like this means a one on the first die, a one on the second. This is a one on the first die, a two on the second. A one on the first die, a three on the second. One and a four, a one and a five, a one and a six, etc. This is a two on the first die, then a one. Two, then a two. Two, then a three, etc. All the way down to 6 and 6, from 1-1 one, one to 6-6. Six, six. Those are all the things that can happen when you roll two dice. There's 36 different things in that rectangular array. Now, specifically, they're looking for a sum of 7 or 11. Sum of 7 or 11. So we want the dice to add up to be 7 or 11. Well, let's, let's take a look at what the dice add up to be. So um, notice right here, if I go down this diagonal right there, that all those numbers, the sum is 7, right? 6 and 1, 6 and 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, 5 plus 2 is 7, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 4, 2 plus 5, and 1 plus 6, they're all 7. Everything on this diagonal has a sum of 7. They all add up to 7. If we take the next diagonal, let's go this way, notice what do all the numbers on that diagonal sum up to be? They all sum to be 8, don't they? 6 and 2 is 8, 5 and 3, 4 and 4, 3 and 5, 2 and 6. They all sum to be 8. And we can keep going. The, the next diagonal, these sum to be 9. 6 and 3, 5 and 4, 4 and 5, 3 and 6. They all add up to be 9. Next diagonal, those all add up to be 10. Next diagonal, those all sum to be 11. And then the final diagonal, which is just one entry, 6 and 6, the sum is 12. How about if we go the other way? How about if we go on this diagonal? The sums go down. The sum is 6, isn't it? Right? 5 and 1, 4 and 2, 3 and 3, 2 and 4, 1 and 5, they all add to be 6. Everything on this diagonal is a sum of 6. Let's do the next diagonal. This diagonal right here. The sum of those numbers is 5. Next diagonal. Sum of the numbers on that diagonal is 4. This diagonal. The sum is 3. And then the final diagonal, the very top entry, only one entry. The sum of 1 and 1, what they call snake eyes, is 2. So we go all the way from 1 and 1, the lowest total of 2, all the way to 6 and 6, which they call box cars. The sum is 12, from sum of 2 to a sum of 12. And notice it's, it's by the diagonals. The same total is on every diagonal. So that'll tell us how many entries. How many total entries in this array? It's 6 by 6, isn't it? It's, there's 36 entries. So, let's go answer the questions now. So now, for the first question, they're asking us, you want a sum of 7 or 11. So how many entries have a sum of 11? Let me, or 7, let's start with 7. Sum of 7 
How many entries have a sum of 7? Let's count them. 6 and 1, 5 and 2, 4 and 3, 3 and 4, 2 and 5, 1 and 6. All together there are 6 entries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 entries that have a sum of 11. So there's 6 entries. And how many have a sum of 11? How many different ways can you get a sum of 11? 6 and 5 or 5 and 6 get a sum of 11. There's two ways. So two ways to get a sum of 11. Add that up. There's eight ways to get a sum of either 7 or 11. So the probability, the probability of getting 7 or 11 when you roll two dice is 8 out of 36. Remember, because there's 36 total boxes in that array. So out of 36 total boxes, 8 of them are a sum of 7 or 11. We've got to reduce that fraction, divide by 4, top and bottom. That's 2 ninths. So the probability of getting a sum of 7 or 11 when you roll the two dice is going to be 2 ninths. Let's answer, let's go to part B. So on part B, they're asking, rolling a sum of 2, 3, or 12 on the first roll is a loss. You automatically lose in the game of craps if you roll 2, 3, or 12. What's the probability of that? So the probability of 2. What's the probability of 2? How many 2s are there? There's just, there's just the one entry right here, sum of 2. One and one, there's just one entry. So that's one out of 36. What's the probability of what's next? Three. How do you get a sum of three? These two right here. One and two, two and one have a sum of three. So there's two different ways out of 36 to get that. We'll reduce it in a minute. I'm going to first get them all and, and add them up. So the probability next of getting 12 because they want 2, 3, or 12. What's probably getting 12? Well, 12 is down here, sum of 12. There's only one way to get that. Box cars, 1 and 1. I'm sorry, 6 and 6, which is 1 out of 36. So if we total those, the total probability is 136 plus 236 plus 136, which is... 436, but we got to reduce that fraction, divide top and bottom by 4, and we get 1 ninth. So the probability is 1 ninth of getting 2, 3, or 12 automatically losing. So notice there's a 2 ninths probability of winning on your first roll, 2 ninths, and there's a 1 ninth probability of losing on your first roll. So you're probably not going to lose on your first roll. There's a better chance of winning, twice as good a chance of winning on your first roll. Then we go down here, rolling a sum of 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, basically all the rest of the probabilities, um, is neither a win nor a loss. What's the probability of those things? Well, notice that's everything else, right? We've already done 2, 3, and 12, and we've already done 7 and 11. 7 and 11 is an automatic win. 2, 3, and 12 is an automatic loss. These other numbers are neither a win nor a loss. They mean the game goes on. So we've got to figure those probabilities out. So what are they going to be? So for um, a sum of 4, how many for a sum of 4? Sum of 4, it's these three. So that's going to be... 3 out of 36, sum of 5, sum of 5 is going to be right here, 4 out of 36, sum of 6 is, where's sum of 6, right here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 36. Sum, uh, we skip 7, 8. Sum of 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. Out of 36. Next comes 9 and 10. Sum of 9. So sum of 9 is 4. 
out of 36, and a sum of 10. The last one, sum of 10. Sum of 10 is right here. It's 3 out of 36. So if we total those all up, Add them all up, what do we got? 3 and 4, that's 7, and 5 is 12, um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 out of 36. Reduce that, divide top and bottom by 12, and that will equal 2 thirds. So the probability of any of those other results is 2 thirds. Now we keep going. Come on down here to part D. And they ask the question, they say, uh, what is the probability of the event of rolling a sum of 1? What's the chance you're going to get a sum of 1? There's no way to get a sum of 1, not when you roll two dice, right? The lowest thing you can get is a 1 and a 1, which is a total of 2. There's zero probability of getting a sum of 1. What's the probability of a, uh, of event of rolling a sum less than 13? Less than 13? Well, the highest you can get is 12. So less than 13? 100% chance. One decimal or fraction. 100% chance. Finally, last question is, if the two dice are rolled 120 times, predict how many times you're going to get a sum of 7. Hmm. Sum of 7. So, let's take this over here. So, a sum of 7. What's the probability that the sum is going to be 7 if you roll two dice? Well, looking up here, sum of 7, sum of 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different ways you can get a sum of 7. So, it's 6 out of 36. You can reduce that fraction we need to. Let's divide top and bottom by 6. So that equals 1 6. So that's the probability that you're going to get a sum of 7 when you roll two dice. It's a 1 6. 1 sixth of the time. So 1 sixth of the time. About 1 sixth of the time we will get a sum equal to seven. It's the most likely sum. It's the most. It's the most common sum. So one sixth of the time we're going to get a sum of seven. So if we roll a hundred and twenty times, then one sixth of those hundred and twenty times we will get a sum of seven. That makes sense, doesn't it? Right? The probability is one sixth every time you roll two dice. So one sixth of the 120 times. So what's of always in math? Of is times. One sixth times 120. How do we work that out? Well, you put the 120 over 1 and you cross cancel. 6 goes into 12 two times, so it's 20 over 1. It's just 20. 20 times. We're expecting that 20 times, right? Because 20 times 6 is 120. 20 times out of the 120 times, one-sixth of the time, about. That's what we expect. It's not going to be exact, right? Probability is never exact. It's just what you expect, what will most likely happen. About 20 times out of the 120, we'll get a sum of 7.